Welcome to Sprinkle with Hope podcast with your host, Jason. And today, Shane and I are going to introduce our second acronym, AIM, A-I-M. But we're going to kind of put the two together. So we hope that you kind of follow along with us today. But we're going to bring AIM and hope together. And hopefully you'll see kind of what we're talking about. But I, I want to, to bring up uh, something from, you know, my past. I've talked a little bit about, you know, my time in the military and I've talked about being in the army a couple times, but there's some really great things that I learned when I was in the army. And one of those, when, when we were being taught uh, marksmanship, we, we were being instructed how to hold a rifle and handle it and how to shoot at the shooting range. Cause that's really important for somebody who's in the army. And so they taught us the four fundamentals of marksmanship. And so I'm going to talk about those a little bit, but the first uh, the first four are steady position, aiming, breath control, and trigger squeeze. Now, I, I want I want to say the interesting thing about learning this technique is that you you look through the aperture, the the rear sight aperture, and focus on the front sight post to and blur the target, which is interesting. When you're learning how to aim at a target, your target should be a little bit blurry because it's a, a long ways out there. It's far out there, right? And so as you're looking through the aperture, you want that front sight post to be the thing that you're actually staring at and the thing you're focusing on. And so I, we're going to talk about focusing our AIM, A-I-M, and kind of how that relates to hope. And so hopefully you follow along with us a little bit, but I wanted to kind of start off um, with that a little bit. And so the A for aim is action. So I have an interesting definition that I came across, and I thought it fit perfectly with what we're talking about today. The Oxford Dictionary defines action as the fact or process of doing something typically to achieve an aim. Well, isn't that interesting? So we, Shane and I have talked a lot about action, taking action. So isn't that interesting that action goes to, back to our acronym AIM. And so I, I just wanted to start off with that. Um, and then I have a, a quote from Mahatma Gandhi, who's an Indian lawyer and a social activist. We've, we've talked about him a little bit, but he said, the future depends on what you do today. Take action to find hope, see hope, look through a different lens, look through that aperture that rear sight aperture and focus on what you want. And it may not necessarily be your target. It could be the thing that's just beyond that aperture that you're looking through. And so I'm going to use the A as the first two fundamentals, steady your position and your aiming. So we want to steady that position and hold our, whatever we're looking at. And we want to aim through that app, that rear sight aperture and focus on what it is we want and that is going to allow us to take the action to continue to move forward. That's awesome that you started with that. You know, when I, we talked a little bit about the four fundamentals of marketing group, and I didn't know about them because I haven't gone through that like you have. But if you think about the things, steady position, aiming, breathe control, and trigger squeeze, that really, that encompasses action, taking action. So if you're going to do something, you steady your position, you're going to aim towards what you want. You're going to control your breathing and then you're going to take action. You're going to trigger squeeze. You're going to do. So it's not just um, in the military or when you're shooting a gun that you, you can totally. think about those four fundamentals. It, it's what we're talking about, which is action. I came across a quote by Matthew McConaughey. He's an actor and he just released a book called green lights, which I thought was really interesting. Green light means go but he says something so profound. He says this, the arrow doesn't seek the target. The target draws the arrow. Mm. And I thought, I have to share that because too often I think we think, yeah, we're just shooting, shooting the arrow at the target and the arrow is not seeking the target. It's just sitting there, but the target is drawing the arrow to it. Mm. So just a different perspective on, on action and, um, that just it, with life, if you're, if you're not willing to take action, then 
the things that you really want aren't going to draw you to them just like the target isn't drawing the arrow to it uh, it, it is drawing it but if you're not going to take action it's not doing that right um the i in aim stands for identify and identify is a verb or what does that mean it means you have to do something a verb is an action word right it takes action to identify what you want so you have to be doing something you can't just when we talk about identify it's not it's not what we're talking about is let me give you some examples um some personal examples so years ago i've mentioned that i went through a divorce and in that process i became a certified mediator well before that process i didn't i didn't identify as a mediator i wasn't a mediator i didn't really know anything about it until i went to mediation and thought oh i need to learn more about this and so i took some courses and i learned well i i identified myself as a mediator well what happened was i started mediating for other people they were going through some difficulties so i would help them um, in about 2006 my wife and i bought a business we bought a balloon decorating company before that I didn't think that I would ever be one, an owner of a company and two, that I would ever be uh, in balloon, in the balloon industry. But what happened after we bought that was we saw a lot of stuff about balloons and we learned things about that because we, because I was identifying one as a business owner and two as a business owner of a balloon company. And so that's what we're talking about is we're identifying what we want so I was a mediator for a while that dropped off. I was a, a business owner for a balloon company for about 14 years. It was fantastic for myself to learn things and for our family. Um, you know, we used a lot of that money to go on vacations because we wanted to <laughs> spend time together. But what, yes. what I identify now as a podcast host and I am learning about podcasting and different things. And so, as we talk about identify, that's what we're talking about. It's, it's that you, if you want something bad enough, in all of these cases, I did want these things. And so I identify as those things and it changes my perspective and it changes who I am. Now I believe that I am a podcast host. And so you can also see that you can change over time and that's okay. That should be that what we're doing is evolving and growing. This really changed for me when we uh, interviewed Anthony Trucks uh, a few episodes ago. He says on his website, the secret to a new and better life isn't a shift in mindset, but a shift in identity. And so as we, Jason and I heard that, we thought, oh, wait, we can tie in something else to the Hope series and AIM fits perfectly. So we just, as we're talking about identify, just keep the things that, uh, that I've shared in mind that you, know, you can evolve and grow over time and that, that's okay. The last thing I wanna say about um, identify is do things intentionally. So I intentionally wanted to be a mediator. So I went out, I got certified and I was. I intentionally wanted to be a business owner bought a company, started growing it, and I was. I am intentionally being a podcast host. So I'm taking those actions and I'm creating the life that I want because I'm identifying with these things. I love that. I love that you, your, your story is about identifying. And I think it's really, really important as we talk about identify to, to also be careful, right, of what we are identifying with because we may identify ourselves with something that we don't necessarily want to identify with. Right. So I think that, you know, we, we want to have a happy balance between what we want to identify with and what we don't want to. Uh, I have an unknown quote. I wish I knew who the author was. I was trying to find it, but I, I couldn't get it. But um, it said it was an unknown quote. But it says, the moment you doubt whether you can fly, you cease forever to be able to do it. And I thought that fit exactly with identify because Shane and I are identifying with being 
podcast hosts with being, uh, you know, course, uh, you know, somebody who creates a course for people to do. We're also identifying with being a book author. And so Shane and I are identifying with that so that we can then become those things. Uh, you know, we're, we're not necessarily book authors right at this moment, you know, but it's something we're working on. We've talked about, um, you know, in our live podcast that we are going to write a book. And so Shane and I are identifying with being book authors. Thus, we can start to, you know, put ourselves in those arenas, right? Yep. And so that's something that, you know, we talk about taking action and we talk about, uh, you know, our identity and identifying with things and identify is an action, you know, it is a verb. So, which means it takes action to do. Um, so if, if there's something you want to do or to be, identify with that thing, that, that way you can start to get your vision and your goals and your mindset towards that thing. And so, you know, that, that's what I would have to say with about identify as well as I'm going to go back to my four fundamentals of marksmanship and I'm going to identify the I in, uh, in our aim with breath control. Cause you know, we've done breath control. Um, you know, I've done some different breathing exercise, but if you're identifying with something, take a breath and identify with that thing. So I'm going to bring it back to those four fundamentals of marksmanship. Um, you know, we're, we're going to, at the end of this, we're going to kind of tie uh, the four fundamentals of something else that we want to talk about. But, and so we're going to bring aim and, and hope together here at the end. So the M in aim is for masterpiece. And it goes back to, R E enough episode where I talked about creating a masterpiece and creating that art that you want to create. You're the artist. So be the artist who is holding your own paintbrush. Don't let somebody else hold the paintbrush. You be the one to hold it. You're the creator of your own masterpiece. And so be the, be that creator, be the one that does that, that amazing thing that you want. Um, you have the power to put whatever kind of paint you want to, or start over fresh. We've talked about that, uh, you know, be that person who wants to create an amazing masterpiece. You're the artist, right? You're the sculptor. You're the, you're the, the, that particular, uh, artist, right? And so be the artist who creates a masterpiece and how many, how many of those artists started over or you know, just threw up white paint on it and said, okay, I, I'm picturing it, but nothing's coming out yet. Be that artist. That's great. At least you're starting with a painting and you're holding the paintbrush. So just keep that in mind. And then I'm going to go back to, um, you know, my four fundamentals. So we're going to use the M in aim as the trigger squeeze. That's the one you're taking action as you're creating your masterpiece in the finale of this AIM or AIM. Like Jason is saying, you are the painter. You are the sculptor of your masterpiece. And uh, he also mentioned that you have a paintbrush. So keep that paintbrush. Don't give anyone else that power. That Keep that really close to you. And you create your masterpiece, the art piece that you want. Um, just don't give up that that power that would be you would be giving somebody else the power to create your masterpiece and it's not going to turn out the way you want so the same thing with life is hold that paintbrush or that power that you have inside you and you create the masterpiece that you want take responsibility for your art um, take the steps needed to create a beautiful piece don't worry too much about what other people are saying about your your life or your masterpiece uh, but live the life that you want to. Um, some of you have heard of Bob Ross, and he's a famous painter. He does phenomenal work. Uh, he used to have a TV show where he would just paint things. And even he, someone who's painted his, almost his entire life, he would make a little mistake and he'd say, oh, here's a happy little cloud or a happy little mistake, a happy little tree. And he, you can see he, he sometimes paints and then he just keeps going a little bit more. He's like, it doesn't really matter uh, the process as much as what it's turning out to be. 
So create the art that you want, not anybody else. The masterpiece should be all focused on you. This is yours and yours alone. And whatever you're painting or whatever life you're living, that's okay because it's your masterpiece. It's your life. And we, we really took some time to think about this and tie in aim and hope and to come up with something that we really thought, you know, this all ties together so well. Um, so we're really excited to uh, present this to you, the aim uh, and tie it into hope. Yeah. And I think, you know, kind of along those lines of what we're talking about and, and all, uh, so what we're going to call the H O P E is the four fundamentals of hope. And so, uh, and we're going to number it the number four as being four fundamentals of hope, H O P E, which is heart overcome passion and enough being enough, knowing you're, you have worth. And so Shane's going to talk about the fundamentals and what that means. Cause he kind of came up with the cool thing for that. Um, and so, but we want you to, to, to think about this, you're aiming for hope. So we want you to think about you're going to aim for the hope because all that Shane and I surround ourselves with is hope and having hope, finding more hope, being hopeful instead of hopeless. And so we, I want you to kind of put it in your, your, your picture, your aperture. And I want you to think about aiming the four fundamentals of marksmanship that I talked about. Right. You know, and I want you to think about those things, which is steady position, aiming, breath control, and trigger squeeze. And as you're looking through the rear sight aperture, you're going to aim for hope. And hope is going to be at the forefront of what you're shooting for. And it may be a long distance out there. It may be something that you, you're looking and saying, oh, that's hard to reach. But if you're not aiming for it, you're never going to hit the mark. And so you want to aim for that. And so that's what I you know, my final remarks on it and, and Shane and I are going to break this down even more as we continue to talk about aim. Um, but always our focus is back to hope. It is. Yeah, it is. We, we really are super excited that we came up with aim for hope. And like Jason had mentioned, the four fundamentals of hope are those heart overcome passion and enough. And as we were talking about it, I was thinking, Wait, if they're fundamentals, if they're fun, the mentals, I, I thought, wait, all of this, it sometimes might seem like hard work, but it should be fun. Yeah. And the, we, 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 Jason and I love to have fun. We also like to take things serious, but we have fun doing it. So as you're thinking about, well, how can I develop hope? We're starting to lay that out for you. We're starting to lay out the way that you can develop more hope. It's not just waking up one day and saying, yeah, I'm going to have more hope. If you follow the things that we're talking about, you will gain more hope. You'll have a positive outlook on life and you'll see a difference in your personal life. So it should be fun. The mentals. And when I thought about mental or fun and mental, that it also ties into the mind. And the mind is such a powerful thing that if we do these things that we're talking about, we honestly believe that anybody can change their perspective on life by doing these simple things, aiming for hope, and then doing the steps that we're outlining. So just some things to think about. It has to be fun and that we're tying back in the mind to, to helping us get to where we want to go.